What's up, ladies and gents, boys and girls? Your boy Drift Man is back here with another interesting topic for you guys. Now, I know that a lot of you guys have been hitting me up with topics, and um, a lot of things have been going on in the media lately with the news and, you know, violence, police brutality. So, if you have a topic for me and I have not gotten to it yet, uh, just be patient. I got you. There's a lot of stuff going on. But anyway, I want to talk to you guys about um, Doja Cat. She has been under um, some fire for the past three or four days. For those of you who don't know, she went viral about a couple of years ago with that song, Moo, which everybody thought was just a gigantic troll. To me, it was. But yeah. Uh, and Doja Cat, I'm not going to lie, she is a fairly attractive black slash, light skin slash, mixed woman, whichever kind of category that you want to put her on. But yeah. The reason why she's under fire is because of um, her uh, recent comments about um, black men. The thing is, like, this was commented before by her, but the thing is, it was very, very subtle and the thing is like most things uh, we swept it under the rug it is what it is with that but uh yeah and then some um old footage of her on a tiny chat with some um prejudiced white young white males resurfaced i think it was about five or six years ago and um we all know that she has an african father and a uh, jewish mother but she says that uh, she never really connected with um, African Americans, uh, mainly the black side. But the thing is, that's who her music, in the mainstream anyway, is mostly marketed to. Now, if you're not a track, if you don't like black men, if you don't date black men, that's okay. But you don't really have to, you know, down them or piss on them either. But that's a problem that we have in the black community right now. But anyway, Doja Kung, as she's being called by some people. Now, because of her uh, comments or whatever, should she be forgiven or should she be eh, canceled now i'm gonna go ahead and say this cancel culture on social media i mean like it really is stupid it's ridiculous to me and the reason why it's stupid is because it almost never works as a matter of fact half the time it backfires and the person that you're trying to cancel becomes more popular and more famous than ever example takashi 69 we should have got six times of ass up out of here a long time ago we should have been canceled his ass but no because of social media and because they like a t you know a c attention controversy we let a tiny tiny little spark turn into a big ass raging inferno we let a we let a little campfire turn into a forest fire but i guess that's, that's the power of social media for you in most people's eyes all publicity is good publicity now i am normally against internet bullying and internet roasting but it, it but to me it is hilarious when it happens to somebody who actually deserves it. Now, does Doja, does Doja Cat deserve to be torn a new one by the masses? Yeah. I mean, I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with a little roasting here and there. I mean, like I said, there's nothing wrong with being roasted and being carried if your ass deserves it. Does she deserve to be roasted? Absolutely. Does she deserve to be canceled and have her career ended? I'll let you guys decide that, baby, because, come on. There have been scandals and racist comments and, you know, other unforgivable acts that have been performed by celebrities and yet they're still forgiven by certain people. Oh, Kelly, excuse me. Damn, my allergies are acting up. But yeah, there's been a lot. So there's been celebrities who have said and done a lot worse things and still kept their careers intact. Is Doja Cat going to be any different? I mean, I guess we're going to see about that. Now, like I said, in, in light of recent events, with uh, how big of a topic race is. I mean, the thing is, in, in 2020, you would think that we wouldn't have to worry about something like this, but I mean, it looks like the floodgates of, to hell have been opened up, and, and it looks like with time, it's gotten even worse. And it's a damn shame to say like that. I mean, especially because, you know, I'm a black man myself, and it, it, I mean, it really does hurt to see a lot of things like this happen. Uh, like I said, I, the thing is, would we really be having the same energy towards Doja Cat if it did not, if it happened when things were a little bit more calm, if things were a little bit less, uh, if there was a lot less tension than, than there is. But like I said, because Doja Cat, while she may not find black men attractive, as she said, she markets herself mostly towards an African-American crowd. I mean, come on, she's got songs with Tiger, she's got songs with Gucci Mane, blah, uh, even has songs in the work with Nicki Minaj. But, uh, yeah. And like I said, it really does suck but that she gets a pass for some of this for some people or some of it swept under the rug because a lot of people might find her attractive. I'm one of them. And people, because she's internet famous. 
But as someone said on the internet, and I will never forget this, I, I, there's a tweet that I found that said by a um, by somebody who was pissed off at Doja Cat for not flashing them. They said, "Well, we created you, and we can destroy you. We made your career, and we can break your career too." Social media does have a way of doing that. I mean, because thanks to social media, the average person has a lot more power than we used to. Because social media is a lot like the court of law; anything you say can and will be used against you. So, for anybody who plans on becoming famous in the next five to ten years or so, or even at all, like, you know, people will dig dirt on you, people will look you up, people will do research on you and try to find anything they can to try to erase your career. Or, you know, they can pretty much just Thanos your career and just snap it out. But, yeah. Anyway, for anybody who's interested in the story or for anybody who cares or whatever, what do you think of this? I mean, like, do you find Doja Cat's comments surprising? Is it, a, you know... Is it a really a big thing, issue with you guys? Do you think that she should be forgiven or do you think she should be canceled? But anyway, guys, I'm out. I will see you guys in the next video. And once again, if you like the content that I create, comment, subscribe. Also, do not be afraid to hit me up on all social media platforms with any topics that you might have to discuss. Anyway, I'm out, guys. See you guys next time. Peace.